all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another weekly update hope everybody's having a lovely weekend and with that being said let's get into the ta guys we got some exciting stuff i got some in it, it pretty exciting setups to uh talk about at the end of this video in the second half but for the time being we're going to be starting off this video with the weekly charts over here in spy i'm just going to say right now you just take a look at this volume candle right here. You take a look at this red candle right here, and it, it's pretty obvious to see where we are going. I do think right here is very obviously where we are going, and it's probably going to do something like that. All right, so like, even if I talk about a bounce in this video, I'm just going to let you know, I do think we go lower to over here down to 460 on SPY, 459.44 more specifically, which was the July high top of this weekly candlestick right here. You could see it right up here. All right, coming over to QQQ, I think the picture is also pretty obvious. You do have increasing volume on this uh, big old red candlestick right here. We could actually just look over here. All right, big red candlestick, big red candlestick, big red candlestick. All of these went lower, all right? It's not just one of these little doji uh, candlestick pullbacks you got going on here, no. You got a big fat red candlestick on all of these. They have a common theme. You did end up going a little lower. I understand over here you didn't go a little lower. You know, this time can be different. I just don't think it's going to be different. Come over here to DIA. Guys, you got this topic tail over here with this, uh, you know, heavy volume spike. We're probably going to start seeing DIA turn down. IWM. What do we got over here? Well, guys, go look at these last red candles. All right, guess what? Once you got the first big red candle, there were more to follow. I'm just putting it out there. So, you know, we're going to talk about everything, guys. We're going to talk about bullish stuff. We're going to talk about bearish stuff. Because at the end of the day, guys, we ain't got a bias when we're reviewing the charts in these videos. Come over here to Mr. Vix. What do we have over there? We got a big old topping tail suggesting that people are not loading puts. What is going on here? Huh? What about Mr. DXY? Trying to get that uh trying to get that breakout. You did get the daily breakout, and now you got the back test. And that is a trend line going from here to the tops of these candlesticks right here. It doesn't really matter how you do this. You got the breakout and you got a back test. Two days in a row there. It's not looking too good for the market. Come over here to SMH, a leader. Okay, so QQQ, NASDAQ, big tech tends to follow the semis. Guess what? You're just doing a break and retest for the time being. You do have that increasing volume, though. And again, with these big red candlesticks, guess what? Big red candlestick, you had another one. Big red candlestick, you had another one. Big red candlestick, you had another one. So I'm just saying we do have a common theme there. I'm not saying we're going lower, but I am going to say that just look at this chart and just you use your eyes and your mind to tell me what is going to be the obvious resolution of this chart. I say obvious as in, you know, maybe it's obvious to you guys but maybe it's not all right guys you got a break and retest setup going on here on the weekly time frame i think it's very likely to come to fruition i think it i think it's extremely unlikely that you are going to rip up and take out this high without coming back to test this july high at 459.44 all right that is what i'm going to leave the weekly charts out let's take it down to the daily time frame what do we got going on baby what do we got going on all right guys i do want to point this out Boom, boom, boom. All right. You're declining here. What do we got? Decreasing volume there. Not the best look for the bears. And I'm just going to say, you only slightly took out this low over here. Is this going to be a bear trap before you have a move up? And then again, I do think you're going to begin that move down. I think the picture is more clear over here on QQQ. And this is really where I'm uh, drawing my bias from is over here on this four hour QQQ chart. You got that going on right there. The RSI is in the same spot you had your bounce over here. I'm just saying, guys, this is where you're going to be putting your major bottoms. Yes, you can be going lower over here. I've, I've already demonstrated this in my last video. Guys, it could be exactly like this, where you get this little pop, a little pop, and then you end up going something like that. All right? If you are in longs and you see a decent rally, you see a decent pop to start off the week, I am just going to say right now, that is likely... To be best used as your exit. I'm not saying you have to cut off all longs because I ain't doing it. I think downside is limited. All right. I think downside is limited. But you're either about to aggressively pop from here or we are going to go slightly lower 
All right. So let's let's look at it this way, right? Let's look at some scenarios. Scenario number one, right here. You get your pop, you go lower. It's gonna give this a little a little pop there, and you're gonna go lower. It's gonna look exactly like this. All right. Scenario Henry's scenario number two. This doesn't have to go down. I just think it's likely. You go a little lower. You scare the living crap out of people. You come all the way down here to 380. Guess what? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere between 380 and 385. And then you get a really aggressive pop. Those are really my two scenarios right there. All right. And we're talking gap till back up 407. 58, which is the low of this candlestick right there. See it up there. Uh, but yeah, as you guys could tell, guys, I, uh, I'm pretty convicted and uh, we're, we're going to get that or we're going to get this. And I'm just saying, if you get the scenario where you get a pop first, I really would be, you know, taking advantage of just like, you know, decreasing your risk here because you're probably going to get that second move down. Spy is nowhere close to 460. 460 is the very obvious break and retest level that is queuing up. If we haven't hit that yet, guys, be cautious on the long side. There you go. Very easy when we're looking at the indices. Now, let's get into the individual tickers because I do think these are where we get juicy. EFE, what the heck is this? What is that? You guys see where, guys, I didn't just draw that arrow, baby. I drew that area up here, all right? We were literally right here. I told you guys, take profit. I've traded this in the past. PFE typically likes to consolidate slash retest. I said you're either going to consolidate above this resistance right here with this arrow. Do you see this arrow right there? Or are you going to follow this arrow? You end up following this arrow right here. I'm just going to say, I think this is your local low. I think you are about to be doing a boom, bop, bing, boop, pow. And you're going to come all the way up here to 3140. PFE contracts are extremely cheap. All right. You catch this move on next week's expiration, you're looking real pretty. You catch it with this week's expiration, you're looking sexy. All right? PLTR. Easily the, uh, I'm going to say the lowest, in my opinion, lowest risk setup that you really could uh, take a stab at right now. All right? We're actually going to use the Twitter, um, my little Twitter layout for my Twitter charts. Guys, if you are not already over on the Twitter do yourself a favor and get on to the Twitter, all right? I will be consistently posting a crap ton of charts every single day here. They will have a crap ton of setups to be played. You want things on your radar. There you go, consistently. I'm also going to say, guys, right now. Okay, hang on. My man. Oh, this is the wrong one. Hang on. Guys, Heisenberg followed me today. Heisenberg. The Heisenberg with 100K. Let's see if we could find it in here. All right? Because I'm pretty hyped about that one. I did not expect to see that one coming. But I'm like, yo, if a big guy's seeing me, a lot of other people going to see me. I'm telling you that. I like you, Kate. Thanks. Bye, guys. We click on this big buy. What the heck is that? All right, guys, you boys, guys, we get noticed over here. I just want to thank the living crap out of you guys. Did I just lose a follow? That said 1155 two, two like seconds ago. Regardless, guys, these are my pups. If you ever wanted to know what my pups look like, these are my pups. That picture the other day. Um, but I'm just going to tell you guys right now, all right? I will be growing in the space. I appreciate the living crap out of you guys, all right? I've literally, I got like 100 followers yesterday. I hit 1K, you know, literally two days ago. And now we're at 1.1 five all right we're about to hit 1.2 get it like 100 followers in a day i appreciate the crap of you guys but if you're not already there get your butt over here all right let's get back to the charts okay or where are we pltr which actually pfe all right i got the wrong trend line on that one i had the right one on the other layout PLTR, guys, I really like this setup. I don't think it's going much lower than this. I think you just made a local low, in all honesty, all right? It really does depend where you want to put that trend line, but you're literally backtesting a previous flag, all right? You are quite literally having a big old flag and the backtest of the old flag. I love it. Love it. 
look at that volume spike. I do think PLTR is going to be rebounding. People are looking for this $15 gap fill. I don't think it happens. Can it happen? Yes, it can. If you see it, buy the freaking dip. I'm not telling you to go all in on the dip, but if I see PLTR's dip right down there, I'm, I am going to break some rules, baby. I am. Because I think this is very, this is just such an easy play, in my personal opinion, right? This is this is a uh, guys, this is a market favorite. When this thing likes to rebound, it likes to rebound. It happens very quickly, and it's very easy to spot where this is going to be happening, guys. Just look at your daily RSI. All right. Now all we got to do is wait for some action. All right. We have the setup. We got the daily RSI saying like, hey, downside is very likely limited. We have this gap fill down here at fifteen, what fifteen oh three. I 1496. A lot of people think it's going to happen. Um, your boy is going to say right now, I don't think it's going to happen. I think a lot of people are going to be waiting on their entry and they're not going to get it. But if you do get it, that is where you accumulate the largest position right then, right there. Boom. All right. Next one we're talking about. SoFi. Why are we talking about SoFi? You're like, this is an ugly ass chart. What are you talking about? All right. Guess what? You're back testing your broken trend line. You're back testing on the weekly time frame where you broke out from. I'm not going to say it looks pretty right now. It literally looks like you got back onto the trend line, broke and retested it. But, guys, this is where we want to be. SoFi may not look the best right now, but in the grand scheme of things, this is not terrible at all. This is exactly what we want to happen. You got the warning signs from these three topping tails right here, and guess what? Now you got the back test. What you going to do with it, SoFi investor? What you going to do with it? I think they're probably going to buy it up. Could be wrong, but that is definitely one I'm watching. But like I said, PLTR, I think this is your uh, least risky bet right here. And then PFE, uh, I don't even know. Can we call PFE? A PFE likes to be a troll, but I will definitely say right now, you did have this massive trend break here, and it happens to be in the form of a falling wedge. Guys, you're going to go crazy, baby. You're going crazy on PFE. Upstart. That's the next one we're talking about. You guys do see my target right there. Guess what? The target only comes into play if you can hold right here. If you can, guys, we have a really freaking clean chart here on Upstart. I know. Meme stock. A lot of people are going to roast me for it. But I'm just going to tell you right now, guys, we nailed. We didn't, you know, nail Upstart every time. But I'm going to tell you right now. Damn right we were watching over here on the breakout. Got the break in. Hang on. Let me just put a level on there for you. Oh, what do you got right there? Perfect break and retest. That's that's the key setup right there, guys. That will make you rich. Guess what? What do you also have? Breakout right here. Break and retest right here with this hammer candlestick. All right. Oh, what do you have right here? New breakout. All right, guys, you had three different times to actually play this thing. The thing is gorgeous. Now, I'll actually also point out what I had originally on the chart. I believe it was this inverse head and shoulders. You got the breakout. All right. Upstart. Beautiful. Now, take it a step further. Take it back to the weekly time frame. All right, what do you got? Increasing volume on the breakout, decreasing volume on the pullback, which is the back test. If you see 3143 get hit, you buy that freaking dip. You don't have to buy the dip. I buy the freaking dip for all of us. And then I get some chips and I dip it in that dip. All right, weekly time frame though, that is where this setup is on. I think it's gorgeous. You hold here. I think we should have an easy shot getting at least back up to the highs. We're going to have to see what happens back up here at these highs. All right. Coming back into this uh, supply area we got up here. If you can surpass it, obviously, we're coming straight to 5214. But I don't think you're going to have a problem at least getting back up here. I'm going to be completely honest. All right. That's that. Look at that. Pull back. Boom. All right. I think something like this is literally pending. And I think we're probably going to be getting back up here. All right. Last one that we will be speaking about is right here over on Neo. We're actually going to talk about XPEB because, you know, maybe people are sleeping on XPEB. I, I understand, guys, China is taking a giant shit. It really is. It's, it's taking a dump all over the place, and it's a messy one, all right? It's one of those ones that gets that's poop all over the toilet, all right, on the sides and stuff. Maybe it gets on the seat. I don't know how poop gets out, up on the seat. I really don't. But it happens because, you know, it, I've seen it. Like, I, I've walked in the toilet, and I'm like, how did you get toilet on, uh, how do you get poop on top of a toilet seat? What are you doing that, that makes that happen? All right, how explosive was that poop? Regardless, guys, you about to have, you about to have some explosive poop in the upward direction. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I have absolutely no what I'm talking about. It is late. 
I actually almost died getting getting home. All right, guys. I don't know if it's uh, you know, you have a snowstorm going on with you guys, but I got out of work at nine, and boy, it literally took half an hour to get home. I could not get up these hills. I had to go so slow down these hills, and I thought I was gonna die. But we made it home, nice and safe. And now we're gonna eat some Chinese food. All right. Why do I really like Neo? It's on the weekly time frame. It's, you know, you can look at it on the daily time frame, but people are probably going to be like, guys, this looks so bearish. What are people talking about? All right. What are you talking about, Henry? This ain't a bull shut up. But it is. But it is. You look at the weekly time frame. This thing doesn't really get any prettier than this. It doesn't. You have the same exact setup you had as last time. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, there's not much I have to say about this chart. All right. Let's actually just look at, uh, I don't know why I have these arrows here. All right. Oh, right here. Decreasing volume on the pullback. That's why I have these arrows there. I think. I, I think that's why I have the arrows. I'm not sure. Yes, decreasing volume on the pullback. You guys see that? You guys see that? Guess what? Hang on. Bear with me here. Whoa. What do you got? All right. Pull back. Literally right here. Okay. You had a big green day. Right here was your first red day. Guess what? Right there. Decreasing. Guys, this thing's getting ready to go. I'm telling you. All right. Last one we're going to be taking a look at over here. X to the PEV, baby. X to the PEV. What are we going to be doing? We're looking at the weekly time frame. Guys, I understand, again, China's taking a big old dump. All right? Like a big old dump. That's why I was talking about dumps and poops. Okay. That is exactly why. Guess what? You are doing a very sexy break and retest going on here in the form of a bull pennant. All right? Again? This is just like Neo. I don't need to say much about this. I think you guys are seeing exactly what I'm seeing here. And I understand things look scary on the daily time frame. I understand we had a falling wedge fail. I, I saw it too, guys. I experienced it just, just with you. All right. Where did I have this falling wedge? Right there? Definitely like that. Yeah, it's right there. All right. I understand that failed. I understand... That failed because you now took out this low. Now, the guys, this can't be a shoulder if it takes out the head. It, it just can't. That's just how it works. Guess what? We don't have that bull structure here on the daily time frame. What you do is you have it on the weekly time frame. All right. So, guys, do not lose your horses and just, you know, if you loaded this last week and you have February expirations, honestly, even end of January, I think you're going to be perfectly fine. I'm just letting you guys know right now, but I'm serious. February expirations... I think you're going to get paid here, all right? I think you're going to get paid hard, all right? Now, I hesitate on adding Feb because, you know, XPEP ain't showing signs of life. It ain't, all right? I'm not going to deny it, guys. I'm not. But I think, you know, something one to two months out, I think this is Prodis and Neo are probably the best setups you could be, you know, putting your focus on right now if you're thinking one to two months out. Why? You guys see what I'm seeing? What did the, what else is there me to say? All right? You hold this zone right here. We can actually just click on that and it'll show us right there. 13 to 11.50, guys. 11.50, you see it? Same thing I told you guys with PLTR, just like that gap. You see it? You see it? You're going to be doing this. It's easy. There you go. All right? So let's... uh. Let's hope we don't see it here. I'm going to be honest, all right? I want to see some signs of life, and I'm going to take that February position, but I'm just telling you right now, PLTR is not in the same boat. I think PLTR bottom on Friday. I could be completely wrong about that. I think people are, uh, I think a lot of people are watching this uh, $15 gap, Bill. I don't think they're going to get the entries, all right? XPEV, I'm telling you guys right now, XPEV just don't look good, it, you know, on this daily time frame. We could see more downside. You got increasing volume here. That's that. All right, guys, but with that being said, I will catch y'all in the next video after we talk about Rivian. All right, Rivian's actually one I also shared with Twitter and I think is phenomenal after taking a look at this thing. All right, we've got different layouts here, so let's just come over here to the one with Rivian. This thing looks good. This thing looks juicy. Oh, she bad. She real bad. All right. Oh, she coming back and kissing you before she's about to run out on you again. That's what's going to happen. All right. If you can hold this trend line and you push back up to the high, we're talking up here. All right. We're talking this thing over the coming months is going to be coming up to 3070. 
All right. I do think that is going to be the case. All righty. And with that being said, I will catch y'all in the next one. Everybody have a lovely Sunday, and I will catch you on Monday. I love you guys, and peace.